The National Park Service says a 17-year-old from Chesapeake died on the Outer Banks over the weekend after he dug a hole by a dune and the sand collapsed on him. And now lifeguards are warning folks not to dig large holes. News 3 reporter Brennan Ponton explains what you should know before heading to the beach. Lifeguards here in Virginia Beach say holes should only be as deep as the knee of the shortest person you're with, and they say you should cover up all holes when you're leaving. While it might seem like a harmless activity, Tom Gill, the chief of the Virginia Beach Life Saving Service, says digging large holes at the beach can be dangerous. Digging holes in major holes in sand that you can put your body into is deadly. And sadly, it happened over the weekend on the Outer Banks. Officials say the 17 year old was from Chesapeake and was in Frisco over the weekend when he was trapped under several feet of sand when officials say a dune and sand collapsed on him. Gill wasn't involved in the Outer Banks incident, but heard about it and says it unfortunately is something lifeguards have to keep an eye out for. While you may be sitting there thinking this is all fine and dandy, at, at some point it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Um, if you're next to a dune, even worse, because then you're just going to have that much more sand coming on you in an instant. Gill says lifeguards train in the event they have to rescue someone, which she says takes multiple people and is not easy. You've got to displace the sand. You can't dig it out because when you dig out sand, it's falling right back on you. So you've got to displace it outward. And starting this upcoming weekend at the oceanfront, lifeguard stands will be going up. This past weekend was the first weekend they patrolled the beach, with that now continuing through mid-October. Gill says the number one risk at the oceanfront is rip currents. So if you come out and you're bringing the kids and it's all of a sudden really hot and everybody wants to get in the water, move your family towards a lifeguard, towards a stand that has a lifeguard on it. So far at the oceanfront, no major incidents, but it's now a tragic start to the beach season on the Outer Banks. I'm Brandon Ponton, News 3.